Here you have a bicycle pedal connected by a pivot uh, to a pivot by metal bar here. So you got a force pushing down on the bicycle pedal, and that will cause the whole bicycle pedal to turn clockwise. Something like that. Okay, what are we asking for? Uh, what is the moment of force about the pivot? So when you see the word moment, you should already think about what's the equation to calculate moments. So moments, we usually calculate torque or moment. I talk and moment is the same thing. So moment is force times distance. Now usually there's a small subscript you need to know. It's either perpendicular force times distance or uh, force times perpendicular distance. And depending on the situation, either equation may be a little bit simpler for us to use. For this question, it is easier to use this one. And we'll see why in a bit. So using that thing, we're going to calculate the clockwise moments of this force on that will cause the pedal to rotate clockwise. Lah. So we have a force. Okay, I'll just say force, lah, 60 newton. So we write that 60 newton. But perpendicular distance though, what does that mean? So if you look at the right side, you have this force where the line of action is along this purple dotted line. If I extend the force line, it's along the whole thing. Now this line will have some perpendicular distance to the pivot. And this is this number, d perpendicular. So this method is the simplest and fastest way to do this question. And so we're going to do right that. So there the perpendicular distance between the force's line of action Oh, I should label that, huh? Line of action is along this entire dotted line. And that shortest perpendicular distance is 16 cm. So we're going to write there 0 0.16 meters. Just change everything to meters, lah. Why not? Okay. So 60 times 0 0.16. We will get a. Where is my thing? Ah, 9.6. So 9.6 Newton meter is the moment of this force. So when you see things like this, stay calm. Think about which, what what am I going to use? Force, perpendicular distance or otherwise? Because you see, if you want to resolve this force to be perpendicular force, you have to resolve it to be this direction. Because it's perpendicular. But that is really troublesome because you have to deal with angles and we don't know any angles here. So let's just deal with distances. So rule of thumb is, if you don't know angles, it's probably better to do this D perpendicular. If you do know angles, you can use either one. Uh, but no angles, probably have to use a second, second type. Okay, <laughs> so that's all for this question. I will see you in the next one.